This old church behind me is called Santo Spirito in Sassia. And the word Sassia is a Latinization of Saxon because this area of Rome, quite close to St. Peter's, is called Borgo. And Borgo is a Latinization of the Anglo Saxon word. Burg is a, or Burri is a, a, ta a sort of in a protected township. This area was once an Anglo Saxon quarter of the city of Rome in the 8th century. As soon as the Anglo Saxons started converting around the 6th century, there they were still many pagans then, but as soon as they started, there were a steady flow of pilgrims coming here to Rome. And by the time of the 8th century, when they were really uh, Christian, there was um, a, a king of the, of the West Saxons, King of Wessex, King Ina. And Ina, uh, he actually retired to Rome and built a house here, and uh, it was actually su supported in part by tax from England. Uh, for, for the Kingdom of Wessex anyway. And it was on this site that the uh, Scholar Saxorum was actually built, which was um, a collection of a main, a one main church and around it a whole load of houses and schools. Uh, and this is where all the English people used to, to live. And uh, there were also, and many of them, but they had their own militia here because they needed protection. At that time, this was actually outside the walls of Rome and so it was vulnerable to attack. Many Germanic peoples were coming here, the Franks, the Lombards, like the Anglo-Saxons, and they would, have, they would either serve in the, the military here, or they would, um, they would have their own militia just to protect their borg, or uh, their burg. Uh, so uh, the Muslims came and burned the whole borg, burg down, so there was nothing left of it. The scholar burnt down twice. The first time, uh, according to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, was in 816, and that was according to Liber Pontificalis, due to the carelessness of the Saxons. And it almost burned down St. Peter's too. The second fire happened in 847, and that's the one depicted in this fresco at the Vatican by Raphael. The Muslims also did a lot of damage in 846 when they attacked, and that scene probably looked a lot like this depiction uh, on another fresco in the Vatican, depicting the repelling of the Saracens in 849. It remained an important part of English history and for the English diaspora. But the, uh, the church behind the, and the hospital adjoining were not built until much later in the 12th century. But yeah, during the, uh, the, the 800s, it was very much an Anglo-Saxon place. And it's so interesting that here we have today a little legacy of Anglo-Saxon England in the heart of, the, of, the, of Christendom. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Anglo-Saxons, then check out my documentary film From Ruins to Ruins, available to rent online from the link in the description and on the information card on the top right of the screen now.